हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वॉश ऑफ एट वारे वा डॉट कॉम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गोभी का सालन यू नो वेन आई शोड यू मिर्ची बैंगन का सालन आई मेड सालन यूजिंग टैमरिन बट टुडे फॉर द गोभी आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दही का सालन सो फर्स्ट लेट्स गो एड एंड लर्न हाउ टू मेक दही का सालन फॉर दिस यू नो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ पीनट्स एंड we are going to slowly dry roast these peanuts 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds after slow cooking the peanuts and uh, sesame seeds equal quantity all 1 1 tablespoon of uh, you know uh, peanut coconut and sesame seeds and even this we are going to slightly roast this and then we are going to put this in a blender and make this into a nice fine paste once the oil is hot add some mustard seeds when the mustard seeds crackle add red chilies cumin seeds and little bit of uh, methi dana methi dana is a fenugreek seeds but do not add too much it will give bitterness in this we going to add onions just sliced onions pinch of salt in this add uh, curry leaf now look at this the onions are nice and golden in this add some ginger garlic paste once the ginger garlic paste raw flavor is gone in this add a pinch of uh, turmeric that should be good add uh, chili powder you know little extra chili powder for this cumin powder add coriander powder some green chili peanut and uh, sesame seed and coconut paste pour all of this mixture on top of this and mix it you know add water till this becomes like a very thin curry you know now you have to cook this for at least 30 minutes on a slow flame after cooking around almost 30 minutes look at this the oil has separated from this uh, peanut sesame seed and coconut uh, gravy now look at this the gravy is nice and thick and uh, now the oil is slightly floating in this add some mint and some chopped coriander and this will really really enhance your salan gravies and now in this i'm going to add beaten yogurt as soon as you add any of the sarnas whether yogurt tamarind or anything the oil from this will separate out just bring this to a boil and then we going to simmer it for another 2 3 minutes now after adding curd and just simmering it for 2 minutes look at this the gravy is become much better and it is tasting fantastic now i'm going to add the cauliflower and this cauliflower what i did is i boil it in the water with some turmeric and salt if you want you can also add cauliflower in this uh, gravy directly and cook but you know usually in weddings and caterings and all that we boil cauliflower separately so that the salan is nicely cooked and uh, if you add the cauliflower directly into the salan sometimes it can get a little bit mashed and all that so we cook the salan separately boil the cauliflower separately and now just add this boiled cauliflower into the salan and wow and just we going to simmer this um, cauliflower in this salon for like around 4 uh, 5 minutes and you will have this fantastic salon ready usually when i cut the cauliflower for salon i keep it even bigger but today i just cut them little smaller but do not cut smaller than this once you put the lid and let it simmer for 2 minutes the nice oil will float on top and also the cauliflower will absorb the nice salon ka juices wow you know pulling out this cauliflower from this nice yogurt oil based peanut sesame seed gravy ah ha ha you know this is what i should eat along with my biryani looking at charminar and with eating with hands dear friends this is fantastic the aroma itself is so super mm. wow this dahi ka salan gives a fantastic uh, additional aroma for this cauliflower i'm telling you make with cauliflower and that will be the best salan dear friends i hope you enjoyed today's session of learning how to make the gobi ka salan cauliflower ka salan with your wash up but do not forget vareva is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking thank you